Hey everyone, this is the Comic Book Fan 25, and I'm going to be today. I'm going to be doing a review uh, of all the news I've heard surrounding the Amazing Spider-Man 2. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Okay, so uh, before I get into the nitty gritty about the news, I just wanted to say first uh, I really liked uh, the first movie, The Amazing Spider-Man. I thought it was a great Spider-Man movie. And you can find a review of that on my channel in the Deadpool episode 5 or 6, I think. But anyways, first thing I want to talk about is the costume. Now, uh, the costume was uh, one of the first news I got about it. And uh, to be honest, the look, it looks very similar to the Raimi Spider-Man costume. And also looks just basically uh, like uh, the old Spider-Man costume. Though it does remind me a bit of Mark Bagley's Ultimate Spider-Man illustrations. You know, the, the costume. And uh, Mark Webb did say he'd be giving bigger eyes and more, as he put it, gnarly web shooters. As I see it right now, it looks okay, I guess. Uh, I really hope that it can still, you know, stand on its own. But overall, it, you know, it looks cool. It's nice, I guess, to be getting back to the classics. But as long as it fits into the context of the film's universe, I think this will be a good costume. Okay, so the other thing I want to talk about is uh, Harry Osborn. And uh, the actor from Chronicle, uh, David DeHaan, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, he's going to be portraying Harry Osborn. And uh, I think he, uh, I think he's gonna be a great Harry Osborn because he has that antagonistic feel to him, and I think he can play up jealousy very well. And uh, I liked him in Chronicle, yeah. And uh, I will miss James Franco as Harry Osborn, but this is you know new movies, new trilogy, new everything. So you know, I think I'll be enjoying this Harry Osborn, and that's about as much as I have to say on the matter. Now, here's what I really wanted to talk about. It's the new Mary Jane, who's going to be portrayed by Shailene Woodley, who was from The Descendants. I really liked her in that movie, and I, w I found it really interesting that they cast her to be the new Mary Jane. And uh, I was wondering, you know, I'm, I kept wondering how that's going to turn out. And then one day I found, you know, uh, the news that they have photos of her as Mary Jane. And my god, does she look beautiful. She really does look much... She feels more like the Mary Jane from the comic books already. And I haven't even seen her performance. But it just looks like she will be the Mary Jane from the comic books. And she looks beautiful. And I did like her in The Descendants. She's a very good actress. And I think she's going to really pull off that uh, girl next door, you know, that's all sexy and fun and is the girl that Peter just really down or falls in love with. And, yeah, I just really, I think she looks wonderful. And a lot of people have been saying they don't really like her because they don't think she really looks hot enough. And I just don't like that. That's quite shallow. I really think that she is going to portray Mary Jane very well. And it will at least be better than Kirsten Dunst because I have no problem with Kirsten Dunst as an actress, but her character of Mary Jane in the Raimi trilogy was just so whiny and a far cry from what Mary Jane was in the comic books. And I think this time they really are going to nail her. And they got the the right actress. And I didn't even know it was the right actress until I just saw this photo. And, you know, I'm really interested in seeing how this is going to turn out, and I think she's going to be great. And I can't wait to see her. Now, the news that I just got recently was that um, Chris Cooper is going to be portraying Norman Osborn. And uh, my initial reaction to that was, I kind of like it. I think Chris Cooper is a very good actor. I'm not sure, you know, if he'll be a good Norman Osborn. I'm not sure if he can do Norman Osborn, but uh, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I think he could pull it off. I mean, who knows? He's not, I mean... Oh my god, I'm saying that a lot. Green Goblin is obviously not going to be in the movie, and it's just Norman Osborn. So, it'll be a, not, and some nice build-up for when he finally does become the Green Goblin, maybe the third movie, I don't know. But, 
Chris Cooper was not really my first choice for Norman Osborn. I actually didn't really know who to cast as Norman Osborn. It's quite tricky, and uh, I don't know. I miss William Defoe so much. I mean, he was so much fun to watch, and he was so great. And I know he was over the top and a bit campy, but that's why he was so cool and creepy and very much. I hated his suit, though, so hopefully in this new movie, in the new movies, um, he'll get a much better look. And, uh, very interested to see how Chris Cooper and David DeHaan's chemistry as father and son will be very good and very, uh, antagonistic, you know, like with his, uh, like with him kind of alienating his son and his son always fighting to get his dad's respect and approval. And I think that will be a nice theme for the Osborne family in these new films. So I'm very interested to see how this turns out with Norman Osborne. And uh, even just looking at this picture here, I think Chris Cooper will do a great Norman Osborne. He really does have that, you know, like a corrupt corporal mogul kind of look. So uh, let's, uh, I'm really interested in seeing and uh, hope it goes well. Now here's obviously the more pop, the most popular of the news about us surrounding The Amazing Spider-Man 2. And it's that Jamie Foxx is going to be portraying Electro and also that Electro is going to be the villain for Amazing Spider-Man 2. Now first I'll just touch on what I think of Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx is a terrific actor for me. I loved him in Django Unchained. And, um, yeah, like most people, he's not my first pick for Electro. But I think, you know, he could give a new twist on the character that might make the character a lot more interesting. And he is a great actor, so I'm most, ass so most assured he'll pull it off. And I think he will. Because he's just such a good actor. And, uh... Um, the suit will obviously be a lot different from the comics, and, uh, of course it will, because, you know, the Amazing Spider-Man is in a more realistic world, and so he'll maybe look like his, uh, ultimate comics appearance, which is right there in the photo. And, um, also, but my problem is not at all with who's portraying Electro. My problem, and it's not really my problem, it's just my kind of... How should I say? It's a bit more like a letdown. Well, not a letdown. It's just that out of all the interesting villains you could have used for The Amazing Spider-Man 2, really? Electro? Electro is very popular for being like one of the most uninteresting Spider-Man villains, and though he was portrayed very well in the Spectacular Spider-Man animated series, I'm not sure if he can be a good villain for like an entire film. I'm not asking for you to put Venom or Doc Ock or Salmon or any of the Raimi villains, or the villains that Raimi used. I'm just asking for maybe just a better you know, a better character, you know, a better villain. And, uh, gee, which one could it have been? I don't know, but it definitely Electro wouldn't, been, it wouldn't have been my first choice. And it definitely just feels like they're trying to come up with a different villain that Raimi never used. Because Electro has never really had, you know, a storyline with Spider-Man where he causes so much shit for Spider-Man and he's regarded a major threat. He's easily a villain you can incorporate into just like a montage of Spider-Man cleaning up crime in New York. And you could pop in Electro or Vulture or Shocker in there. And then in maybe another movie you can do the Sinister Six and then have, you know, Electro come back there where he fits in better. Um... You know, they could have used, maybe Craven. they could have used Craven, But Craven is a bit too early, I guess. You know, Craven can be used for another. I'm not even sure how many movies they'll make of The Amazing Spider-Man. Amazing Spider-Man is obviously going to be very successful. And I'm not sure if it's going to be a trilogy. All I know is that there's obviously going to be a lot more different villains this time. But I just hope that Electro will be a bit more interesting in the movie than he is in his comic book, than he is in the comics. So hopefully, Electro will be a great threat for Spidey. And, uh, yeah. 
So, it all rests on you, and not all of it, but a huge amount of the movie rests on you, Electro. Let's see how you do it. Now get ready for the weirdest news I've heard about The Amazing Spider-Man 2, and that's Paul Giamatti playing Rhino. And I'm not even sure if this rumor is true. This is probably false. However, it is true that Paul Giamatti will be in the movie. I don't know who he's playing, but why would it be Rhino all of a sudden? And you'd have to, like, digitally put his face on Rhino and the rest would have to be CGI. Then it wouldn't really look that good. And Rhino and Electro in the same movie? I don't know. Those two just don't work well together. We honestly should just save these two villains for the Sinister Six, like I said before. And, uh, I don't know. It's really strange. And, um... Rhino did appear in the Amazing Spider-Man game. And that game took place after... The events in that game, uh, took place after the first film. And... Unless that game's canon, I don't think Rhino will be the same way he was in the game. Because in the game, he doesn't wear a suit. He's a human-rhino hybrid. And I don't know if they're going to be following that storyline, you know, from the game. And if they do, um, Rhino will probably just be in there for, like, you know, like for a first battle with Spider-Man. With Spider and then... He'll just disappear. And I hope it's only a minor role, because I don't want Rhino, you know, and Electro working together or being rivals. Like, I don't want them in the same movie, per se. But if Rhino's just there, you know, like, for one sequence of Spider-Man fighting a bad guy in New York, then that I'll be okay with. But Paul Giamatti's a great actor, and I hope he can pull it off. I bet he will. I still think it's weird to have Rhino in there in the movie. Well, that's really all I have to say about The Amazing Spider-Man 2. These are my thoughts, these are what I th think of them, and uh, so far, overall, all the news, I can tell this is going to be maybe a good movie, but I haven't seen a trailer or anything, or, you know, or even posters, so I, I'm not really sure what to think of this movie just yet. From what, from the news that I'm getting, all I can say is uh, some of the act the actors have been cast well. I think the villain could have been better, and I have no idea what to think of Paul Giamatti as the Rhino, or the fact that Rhino is even in the movie, or even this small rumor about Venom. So I'm not really sure what Mark Webb or Sony is doing with this new universe, but whatever they do, I hope it turns out well. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching my video, guys. Please post a comment, subscribe, and, uh, maybe post down on the comment section below what you think of all these news, of all this news about The Amazing Spider-Man 2. So that's all I have to say, guys. Catch you later.